Hey everybody, um, in this tutorial I'm gonna try and show you how to get a clockwork shot into the toxic waste. Now, first things first, why would you ever want to do this? There's basically only one scenario. Um, it's, it's basically useless in speedrunning, as far as I know. The only scenario is for bingos, and it's only for one goal. So if you're just getting into bingo, this trick is really not that important because it's literally just for one goal, which is all notes in GI. That's the only reason you would ever do it, but it's still a pretty cool trick to know. Why is that? Well, to get into Toxic Waste, you usually have to DCW into it, or you have to learn Pack Whack and uh, Taxi Pack to get the battery. Both of these options can be slow, depending on your row. I mean, it can be fast, Depends on what the rest of your row entails, but if it's fast to skip taxi pack and it's fast to not DCW or maybe you have to or want to DCW somewhere else, this shot, this shot can become relevant. So let me try and show you how to do it. I have to state up front that this shot is pretty precise and it's really not easy so you have to consider if you actually want to do it. So how I do it is, first things I try to line up the camera perpendicular to this part of the waste disposal. And if you look at the floor, like right behind Banjo's left foot, there's this dark spot on the floor. I'm probably gonna add an arrow to it when I edit the video. I wanna have it so the dot is, you know, somewhere in the, in the lighter part of Banjo's foot that you can see right now. This seems about good. Now, you can see the crack right here. This is a little bit fat for me. I want to go a little bit more to the left. It's hard to get the exact spot. This is about what I'm looking for. This looks really good. Now, you can see this sort of lighter brownish part on the, on the metal. This is basically the height you're going for. The, the bottom of the reticule should be aligned with the top of this brownish spot. Now let me try and actually get the shot in. I'm not sure how fast I can get it. The shot is really precise, as I said, so it's not that easy to actually get it. You know, sometimes if you feel like the crack is not fat enough or a little bit, um, or too fat, you can manipulate it a little bit by, you know, moving the camera a little bit to the left and the right and, you know, manual manually trying to um, move the reticle to the right spot. Sort of like this. Yeah, there we go, that will work. Just hold the reticle in place, get the shot, and we're in there. Now, for moving the clockwork, make sure you go directly to the notes because you don't have a lot of time. Dodge this barrel here. He's slower than you, so you'll be safe. Get the first set of notes. I already got them on this file. Oh god. Okay. One tip. Practice practice how to jump the clockwork onto that pipe, because it's not as easy. But yeah, um, I hope this tutorial is going to be helpful for you. If you have issues getting the shot and you have any questions, feel free to ask me about it. I'll try and help you out as well as I can. Again, this is a pretty advanced trick. Not really necessary, but I don't think there was a video on it, so I decided to make one.